Hey guys, my name is Rybro and welcome to 10 more things you may not know about me. I did one of these, uh, like more than a year ago and I feel like I should make more of these videos because I see like other YouTubers that I watch all the time make these kind of videos and I just feel like it's a better connection to them each time and I know more about them and I'm an alright person so <laughs> let's begin! If I hear something like my friends are in a Skype call and they're, and they're playing a game I really like or it doesn't really matter what game if I have it um, like like in a Skype call I will completely abandon everything that I'm doing and join in and just include myself in a lot because sometimes I literally don't have time and I'm literally like doing stuff in the house but 98% of the time I free myself up so much because I'm a nice person and I love people. Okay this one's kind of bad but when I'm looking online for games I'm usually attracted to clever names or screenshots or else I'm not either I'm not really interested to look at it and I feel so bad for that because if any developer is watching and I've uh, just skipped over your game because I didn't think it was interesting I'm really sorry I should get better at playing different games and trying new things but in the end I am still new at this even though doing it for almost three years three years in September and this sounds really narcissistic but I think playing the games that I want to play and and like games that I have been playing like I, I think it's kind of consistent the games I've been playing they're just small indie games they're not like the most popular ones um, the the ones that don't get that much attention and sometimes I do um, but like just in between there but I think playing games that I choose to play will be like a good send off like a, a good message to when I do actually start doing uh, this more consistently and I uh, I, I do start to do this as a living because I'm not because if I play the small indie games then people will catch on to what I'm doing and when people catch on to what I'm doing they they will get comfortable with me doing that and then uh, once they get comfortable uh, and I get comfortable I can branch off to do uh, other things like for example the beginner's guide I only played that because I heard really really good things about it and I just wanted to play it and I was like, well, if I'm going to play it, I might as well record it just to have it out there just so that every now and then I do uh, branch off and do those kinds of games. That game was so worth it. <laughs> number three, I haven't even been counting. I haven't said one, two, but no, number three, I never do any grinding off screen. I leave right where I left off because I think it's a better setup as a series because then you can actually see me progress. Sometimes in like a town of things, there's not really like like a story kind of sometimes I don't know what I'm doing so once I find something interesting I start recording and start recording from there but I don't want you guys to miss stuff I feel like it's more enjoyable if I start like right from where I am and, and finish you guys can watch me progress and get better at the game instead of just next episode oh, I'm better at the game there is no use for you commenting at all even though I don't really get the Number four, I'm very self-reflective. It might not look like it right now because I do less of it, but I made a thank you video for 21, 45, 50, 65, and 100 subscribers. And I think that was a little much, but I wanted to make it anyway because I was so happy uh, that so many people were showing up and thought that they wanted to subscribe to me uh, because of my videos. But you don't see that much because most of it is like it doesn't really matter it, it, it goes through my head it's I don't even like come up with words and basically I just listen to nice music and just scroll through my thumbnails and remember when I recorded this video and what I was thinking back then it's a really weird thing because I care so much about little things like 203 subscribers and just like all the videos I made up to this point and it's like no matter what you say you'll never get people to understand how much you do care even just for the little things number five I strangely only get addicted to uh, things like TV shows serials uh, songs for TV shows it's either a phase between Family Guy, Spongebob, and My Name is Earl. I'm on Family Guy right now because I had to uh, catch up on season 13. I didn't even know that was a thing. For cereals, I'm on Rice Krispies right now uh, and just a little bit of sugar. It's all oh, amazing. And these things like change every month. The same with video games that I play in my spare time. It's usually either Brawlhalla, Rocket League, or Speedrunners. I've been playing a lot of Speedrunners 
uh, when I can with my friends because I, I think they're kind of getting bored of the game. But uh, I just like to play that game for the Super Smash Bros. level. So awesome. And since I kind of brought up food, number six, my favorite food is it's a spinach and artichoke dip with uh, either flatbread or just chips. Next time you go to a restaurant and you see that or something similar to that, you'll thank me later if you, if you order it. Another thing about food, Jay actually, uh, we got into a conversation about he how he goes to Subway every lunch and he gets this delicious sandwich and then I told him what I get on Subway but I'm not gonna put it out all to the internet because I don't want to be humiliated but he told me that it's not even worth it to get just those two things but he suggested I, I don't know if he wants this out there so I won't say anything I know how a special sandwich can be number seven I love anything to do with writing, acting, editing videos, uh, or turning things into movies, and videos, short films, but I can't come up with any ideas. I swear, I cannot. I remember a few years ago, I would, like, like every other weekend, I would go to my friend Kieran's house, and I always found myself writing a movie script or, or drawing a comic book character and, uh, like, making a comic, but I would never have any ideas for it, ever. Uh, but luckily, my friend uh, Kieran was there and he always had ideas. Number eight, I love traveling, but I hate leaving home. But when I'm traveling, like just looking outside, well, I, like after I get out of my little town in the middle of nowhere, just like looking up into the sky and just like watching traffic and, and just like, like driving on the big highways, it's, I don't know. It reminds me of the song Little Wonders by Rob Thomas. Uh, it was the end song in Meet the Robinsons. I don't know, I just think of that song and I, I just love traveling. And if it starts raining, best drive ever. It, it might be, my family might think it's ruined uh, if it starts raining, but I love like sitting in the car and in the rain. It's so, it's like the coziest feeling ever. Actually, my parents wouldn't be that sad that it's raining because there's actually this Ontario ban that we're not allowed to have uh, like campfires at night. Um, because it's so dry here and it has to rain like like four days straight like at least that and I know I don't come up with ideas much but I have a plan to get it to rain if you see a cloud up in the sky usually there are clouds in the sky but if there aren't then just stay at home play video games but if you're outside and you see a cloud just give it the worst insult you can ever think about it like I don't even know so that the clouds can cry of course Unless you don't live in Ontario, then people will just look at you like you're silly. But it seems like it's the only way. Number nine. I get really nervous in front of the camera. Very easily. You can see that. I mean, like, if I uncut this, you're not gonna want to see it. Also, if my dad is working on his computer, which is like, like, right behind that wall, um, <laughs> I get so nervous. Because I usually tell him that I'm gonna record and he's like oh okay and I can see if he's like watching a movie or whatever because I am using his headphones so when he goes to uh, play whatever I know that he can hear every single word that I say and he's, he's laughing at me he's laughing at me silently I, I can't do it <laughs> and the last one I literally know nothing about computers I know I should get around to it but usually it's not really in my head all the time I should be grateful that I have a decently running computer also loud but down the road I really want to learn how like computers work and how I can fix it and just I, I want to build my own computer someday because I heard that the warranty lasts longer and uh, you can only and if you build it yourself you can send your CPU and just your CPU off and it, it won't cost as much but sadly our school doesn't have many computer courses or teachers who teach computers in fact one of our teachers actually is moving to a different school because she was so awful uh, she, she was teaching us, I'm pretty sure it was about, like, cables or something like that, uh, of how to, we were trying to build a computer, um, and uh, she, was, she was naming one of the cables, I don't, but I remember her specifically calling that a doohickey, so yeah, she's gone. <laughs> and that's 10 things you might not have known about me. I don't know if this video is going to be uh, completely useless because I do talk to uh, some of my friends, uh, like, all night and we talk about our secrets and all that so I hope they didn't know this stuff in the, in the middle I try not to talk about YouTube so much uh, and just personal stuff uh, well because it's all personal uh, it, but it's just all the things that I've learned 
and grew up with, but I thought I'd tell you guys, because then you get to know me better. And like I said, when I watch other YouTubers, like, I, I watch their gaming videos out of but when they make a video like this, you know so much more about them, and I think that's really important. When you have a channel, you should uh, break out and get a, a little personal. And also, I think I've tried to, like, be a little bit different. Like, I, I've tried different games, and I, I, I don't know, I, I think my commentary has changed a little bit. Uh, I've tried to be, like, more truthful, and I, I've, like, told you guys more stories, and I, I think that's really important. But uh, don't worry, old Rybro with the blah, 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 blah sayings is still here. So uh, I, I hope this was interesting. And you know what else is interesting? My outro. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. And I hope to see you in the next one. So bye for now. Rybro out.